Hello Pokemon Go trainers, it is Yox fan with another Pokemon Go video. We got some exciting stuff today with trying to solo a legendary raid. So we have Moltres back in raids. Now, the power level of Pokemon in the game. It's it's amazing. It's a sight to behold. And with level 50s, full teams of level 50s with the right counters, you can solo Moltres. I mean, th there have been some Ultra Beasts and other legendary raids that you've been able to solo. I have, should have a video on the channel where I soloed a Vrizian raid, which amazing, Mega Rayquaza. Definitely check that video out. I mean, it, it was awesome. And we got this chicken here, which now I will say most of the things that you can solo for five star raids, if you have the Pokemon to solo them, some of them you may not exactly need. But if you can solo with the free pass, why not? It's fun. And I mean, it just shows the power level of the game. And it's only going to get better as potentially level 60. Hopefully we get level 60. Well, that was the first attempt done, and I was really close. But I, I went for minimal teams. So I have me level 50 Mega Trantar, level 50 Shadow Trantar, both Smackdown Stone Edge, and then a Rhyperior. So there's Shadow Rhyperior, I just haven't spent the dust on it. So I'm definitely going to retry. But now you do want Shadow Rampardos, even a regular Rampardos, but I am so far away from being able to max out two regular Rampardos. I'm just waiting until I get a good Shadow Panados. I've probably transferred a better one than I've gotten, but I definitely want at least like a really high end two star or three star, at least probably. 15 attack. Now you do have to re lobby, especially with two Pokemon, but Mega Tyranitar. I mean, Tyranitar is one of the best things to spend your starters on, and I mean, it's been in the game for a long time since 2017, so if you're a long time player, candies. I think we may at some point get a love to our classic community day. Maybe we've gotten that. Actually, I think we may have already. But second attempt, you can see how close that was. I've sped up the battles three and a half times speed. Do not be here. Do not make this video too long. I'm in three attempts. And I do unfortunately do fall short. But this third attempt, I've gotten better at practicing. And it's a overheat. Moltres now. When the U Moltres used overheat message pop pops up, I'm able to... Throw two more smackdowns and then dodge. I think one of that uh, overheats to land. Yeah, one of the overheats I'm, I think landed, unfortunately, but I do swipe to the left twice. Now, of course, if I had another Shadow Tyranitar, this, this would just be easier. And I mean, it's awesome being able to be so close with just two Pokemon, but. I mean, yeah, more, more Pokemon. I mean, maybe if, maybe with the practice, I would have been able to solo this Moltres with that Rhyperior, but dodging, I mean, you do lose some damage that you can get if you are dodging, but it's crucial with just two Pokemon. And when you successfully dodge, you get two, uh, you, you take 25% of the damage you would have, which is amazing. Beautiful. Now, there is party play. Party play works, in my experience, with trying to duo legendaries, like partially, like at the start. But the game can definitely lag, and when you're like reviving your party and stuff, and if both accounts, both uh, you and your part, uh, battler teammate, uh, we lobby at the same time definitely can be a problem when there's no one battling Moltres or any other legendary Ultra Beast. But I mean, it's just exciting. This is just end game stuff. 
should be self-explanatory that this is like the top, 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 top end. And you can see I did barely, I, I, I waited to throw the move to dodge and I did it actually manually swap. And you're going to see how close. Going to be able to get at least one more stone edge at this point. Dodging is futile, but one charge attack off. And then I'm just going to do a duo because I don't want to waste the pass. Now, I did have weather boosted. So that is also keep important to keep in mind. I think it is possible to duo without weather boost. I mean, you definitely have to be skilled. Now, while you may think you want ancient power, well, I mean, ancient power is probably nice if you have more people and like weaker Pokemon being able to take less damage. And I mean, not getting one shot if you don't dodge. But yeah, I mean, it's just awesome being able to to be at this power level. But other Pokemon, so we are going to do another solo. Just uh, some footage from Guzzlord. You got Fairy types. Mega Gardevoir is a better, does more damage per second than, no, Shadow Gardevoir does more damage per second than Mega, but Mega lasts longer in battle as it's Mega. And other Pokemon that you can solo. Frizzian, like I said earlier. Buzzwool. Cortana, I've heard you've been able to solo. And uh, there are also some Megas, not Mega Swamp, but it's possible solo. It's tricky. I think Charizard Y with double weakness. I mean, double super effective weakness. That is definitely what you need. I mean, I got a bunch of level 50 fairies. I, this is a Sludge Bomb Guzzler, so the worst one in to be going for, but it's I'm mean, considerably easier to solo than Moltres. But of course I have a bigger team of Pokemon. I could probably do it with just two uh, Mega Gardevoir and Shadow Gardevoir. But very nice. Very, very nice to be able to solo. So there's also well, Buzzwall recently, of course. And then Genesect, which, I mean, any Pokemon, Guzzlord, I mean, it's, so the Guzzlord, it's HP, it's capped in raids, but it's, if it wasn't so capped to base 15,000 HP, which is a crazy amount for legendary raids, but that's just the tier of difficulty. I mean, its defense is bad and super weak to Fairy, which, yeah, Gardevoir is incredibly powerful, as you saw in the video. But Rayquaza is the key. Mega Rayquaza with flying type moveset. Not that one is, that's not the one I use, but with Air Slash and Dragon Ascent, it does so much. Allowed to solo Verizian and Buzzwool. I mean, Buzzwool is, is very nice Pokemon to have on your team. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty cool pick in Master League. There's lots, there's lots of Dialgas. And I mean, Lunge can do some nice damage, so that is a bit of a worthwhile Pokemon. And we did get the shiny release, so. And I mean, if you didn't do it, if you didn't uh, get the shiny, well, and you have level 50 Mega Rayquaza, you should be able to solo. You will have to be lobby and having a pre made party, even if you just have one Pokemon. It works, but a team of Rayquazas is nice. Genesect, with all of its color drives, I mean, it's definitely nice. I mean, it's a cool shiny also, red, red. But yeah, I have Pokemon that I have, a fairies, Tapu Hula, I mean, it doesn't have, I don't think it has a fairy fast move, but Togekiss, Primarina even, is a real good counter. Gardevoir, of course, I have. Nice Sylveon, level 50. But rock types, so crucial. I mean, yeah, you have Tarantara, Rhyperia, Terrakion. Even Av Azuri Avala can do a nice job. I don't think it has a. It may have a rock fast move. 
bite. Maybe not. I don't think so. But nice option. And of course, with Tyranitar, you you do have Dark type moveset, which with the uh, with the uh, the return and a first attempted solo on Moltres, I finally uh, invested in another hundred Tyranitar. I mean, definitely a worthwhile investment. Definitely could have done it a long time ago, but I did the Shadow, which I've never needed or truly attempted to uh, to go for the solos, but it's fun now. This point of the game, level level sixty. If we ever get those Pokemon, it's gonna be crazy. I mean, of course, Fire type needed for Cartana. Oh yeah, Cartana is another solo. Oopsie. But it's the same typing as Genesect. And I mean, it's it's a top grass attacker. Amazing. Silly me. Silly goose. But we got Reshram. Who knows how long till we get Shadow Reshram. That's going to be our power. Also, Chandelure with Shadow. Unfortunately, never able to get a good enough Shadow. On that, I would be worthwhile investment. This Heatran, which is a good Pokemon. Mega, Mega Charizard, I mean, it should be a bit of a staple for long-time players. I mean, Shadow and uh, Typhlosion would not recommend compared to other Pokemon, but if you play the community, it's honestly, I mean, it's not bad at all. It is also the Hisui, which flexing the Shundo, Shundo, Hisui Typhlosion from, uh, from the raid day. It's insane, but there's also stuff like and Tay. Ahoos. Very nice, but good luck on your legendary solos if you are a ways away. It's fine. Everyone has their own pace of this game. I am a. Well, I have this channel thanks to you all. Gonna continue pumping out this content, doing these videos. And I will definitely be back with a hopefully solo of Moltres. But Brandon Tan, one of the most well-known players in this game, he has a nice video. But unlike him, I do not have the facilities for Cranidos. I mean, these are my Shadow Cranidos. I can almost, I, I could use some regular candies to get the remaining XLs for level 50 Cranidos. Lucky 98, awesome. Did I... Do I not have the hundo? Oopsie. I guess I could save Stardust and with the Lucky, but yeah, I do not have the power. Maybe that Lucky would be enough. It is a stronger attacker than Viperia, but I think I'd rather full send the Shadow Viperia. But yeah, I mean, he has he used a team of five Shadow Rampardos at 50 and Mega Deancey. And it was possible without all those Rampardos, but this uh, person, this trainer on Twitter, they were able to solo without the Rampardos. Got the final strike. They had a, actually a lot of time. So yeah, best buddy boost also. I may, I may have to uh, try this again. Because I forgot to equip uh, either my Tyranitar's the best buddy boost. That may be just enough. Who knows? Don't have the best buddy badge on my Mega Tyranitar. But. Smackdown. But yeah. I mean uh, Mega and then Five Shadows. Looks like just shy of that level 50 on that third Shadow by period. But two level 50 Shadow Tyranitar's. Definitely an amazing accomplishment. And yet another team. Two Shadow Rampardos. Yeah, not me nodding in close. Mega Dancy. So far away. And I I mean, I would rather just hope for a future shiny. But it is awesome. This is the, the one I saw first. I mean, yeah. Level 50. I had the same Tyranitar and Shadow, Tyrant, Mega Tyranitar and Shadow Tyranitar. He also had a Shadow 
I pure, I think I could do it with just the top three. We'll see. Stay tuned. I'll have a video if I do do that. But good luck on your legendary Pokemon grind. Hope you have fun with the video and subscribe to the channel. Gonna continue with lots more Pokemon Go content and I have daily Go Battle League videos if that is something you enjoy. But thanks for watching and goodbye.